All right, guys, new intro here for the Bear Pack. Let's take a look at our subscription goal. We are sitting at almost 9,300. We need 700 more subs to hit that 10K goal to give that $1,000 giveaway. And then we have 12K subs coming up to send a couple people to some games of their choice. Trey, let's take a look at that leaderboard. Dennis Burns is at the top. We have Kellen on this week. He's doing a great job so far, but that is the leaderboard right now. If you see if you see your guys' name, reach out to us. Bears Profit plays at gmail.com or on Twitter, Bears Profit at Bears Profit. And we need to get you guys set up. So we can give you guys your picks out for the next couple of weeks. If you see your name, make sure you reach out. Also, if you want to become a member on our YouTube channel, we're going to be giving away $50 weekly to our members on YouTube. We have 15 to 20 right now. So if you become a member for just $4.99 a month, you have a chance to win $50 weekly. We're going to be doing that on our live show. We're going to put everybody on the wheel. We're going to spin it and give away $50 a week. So make sure you guys come check that out. Only $4.99 a month. Very cheap over there. And our plays are actually better over there as well. So guys, is going to do it. Let's get into the video. All right, guys, let's get some NCAA basketball picks and props for Wednesday, December 13th slate of games. Take a look at that leaderboard train. How do you start us off? Yeah, guys, I gave out Southern Illinois minus 11 and a half versus Austin P. We are recording a little bit early. The game tips off in a couple minutes. So I'm excited to get off here and watch that game. Yeah, I'm currently 0 0. My game has started. I had to get out the calculator really quick to do the math. Yeah, uh, Tennessee's up by 28 and a half, 49 to 21 against Georgia Southern. We have them minus 31 and a half. So it's looking really good so far. Hopefully they can finish the game out. Trey, let's go over to our plays for tomorrow. How do you start us off? Yeah, guys, I'm going to be attacking Longwood at Milwaukee here in this game. And I'm actually pretty pumped to watch this game because I think it should be pretty entertaining. But I am a little bit confused why this spread is so close. Give me Longwood here, minus two and a half in this game. They're just easily the better team. And they've shown the ability to win games on the road as well. Because Longwood, they come this game with a 10-1 and one record. And they're also 5-3 and three ATS this season. And Longwood, they're also 3-1. and one on the road and yes i have to say they have, have played a pretty cupcake schedule so far but milwaukee they're not a mid-major giant either they're nothing to write home about and longwood they aren't even really barely winning these games they are just dog walking teams off the court too that's because they're winning those 10 games by an average score of 82 to 59 so winning those games by an average of 23 points per game and milwaukee like i said they are not world beaters by any means they come this game with a four and six record and are three and five ats this season and they're also 2-1 and one at home in Milwaukee. They enter this game losers of three out of their last four games. So they are coming in, into this home game with some negative momentum. And I do expect that to carry over here. And just to sum it up, Longwood, they're allowing 60.6 points per game. In Milwaukee, they're allowing 77.2 points per game. Longwood, they're the better offense. They're the much better defense. They're the better team. Give me them here, minus 2.5 against Milwaukee. I like it, Trey, for my play today. I'm going to be looking at the Creighton Blue Jays going up against the UNLV Rebels. I'm going to take Creighton minus 14 and a half going up against UNLV as the play. I'm not the biggest fan of the Blue Jays right now because they're pretty inconsistent. They only have one loss this season. That came against Colorado State at home. Don't get me wrong. Colorado State, a fantastic team this season if you watch them play. But Creighton lost that game by 21 points at home. However, I'm still going to take Creighton here because of the last three games that they've played. They've been dominating opponents. They've covered the spread in all three of those games against Oklahoma State, Nebraska, and Central Michigan. They beat all three teams by 14-plus points, and they were only single-digit favorites against Nebraska and Oklahoma State, winning those games by 14 and 29 points. UNLV, on the other hand, has lost three of their last four matchups straight up, and they haven't covered the spread in any of those games. Creighton is known for being able to run up the score on opponents scoring between 80 and 90 points per game this season. Give me the Blue Jays, minus 14.5 as the play. I think they just outscore UNLV here. Uh, but, yeah, give me Creighton, minus 14 as a, 14 and a half as the play. Trey, let's go over to the player props. Have you start us off. Yeah, guys, I'm zero for zero, and that's where I'm going to stay unless somebody wants to be nice and drop it below if they found it because I do think it's going to end up hitting. I gave out Tyler Thomas over his points versus Duke, Hofstra's point guard. Guy's a stud, third highest leading scorer in college basketball, getting a huge top 25 matchup here. Nobody wanted to put out his bets. Absolutely outrageous. They knew that we were taking the money, so very frustrating. Yeah, and I had Dalton Connect. I saw it on Action Network, over 17.5 points. Didn't see it on prize picks. Didn't see it on FanDuel, so... I know there was a line out there, but uh, he had over 17 and a half points. I wasn't able to bet it. Good thing I didn't bet it because he has zero points on two shots at halftime. So Tennessee has 50 points, and Dalton Connect hasn't even shot the ball in this game. So bad pick by me. We're going to move on to tomorrow. Trey, how have you start us off? Yeah, guys, I'm pretty excited to talk about my guy. I'm going to be taking Jackson Robinson over his points versus Denver. This is BYU's stud, and I expect him to show up here in this game. And that's because that's what he's been doing so far for BYU in every single game. Because Robinson, he comes in this matchup averaging 16.9 points per game. That is top 50 in college basketball. So he is a great prolific scorer. And that's because he's very consistent. Over his last four games, he has been turning it up, though. That's because he's averaging 21 points per game over that span. 
And I do think that he should reach that 20 point threshold here. That's because Jackson, he loves whooping up on weaker competition in his games versus bad teams. Robinson, he's still averaging 18.4 points per game. And in all those games, he played less than 22 minutes. So he has the ability to fill it up very quickly. And I think he might need to in this game. But give me Jackson Robinson to go over his points versus Denver. I like it, Trey. For my player props tonight, I'm going to take Baylor Shireman to go over his total points going up against UNLV. Baylor this season has surprisingly been the best player for the Creighton Blue Jays. This is the second year for him at Creighton, the transfer from South Dakota State University. And last season, he only scored 12.8 points per game. This season, he scored nearly 19 points per game, shooting close to 40% from deep and nearly 50% from the field. During this three-game winning streak against Oklahoma State, Nebraska, and Central Michigan, he scored 21-plus points in two of those three games. And if we look at the last six games for him, he scored 20-plus points in four of those six games. I think Creighton's probably going to put up somewhere close to 90-plus points again in this game. And a lot of those points are going to come from Baylor Shireman. So give me his over total points as my play going up against UNLV. Trey, let's look at the graphic. We'll get out of here. Yeah, guys, I went with Longwood minus 2.5 against Milwaukee. I feel like Longwood is just easily the better team. I love that we're getting them. At basically almost a pick here, so I love that. I'm also going with Jackson Robinson over his points versus Denver. Jackson, he is just the go-to guy for BYU's high-scoring offense. He might not play much after the second half of this game, but I still expect him to pour it in very quickly. Yeah, and I like Creighton. Outrun him, outman him, outscore him. I think they beat UNLV by at least 15 points. They've been on a tear the last three games, and they're going to score a lot of points. So give me Baylor Shireman as, as well, their best player to go over his total points and the best shooter from three-point range. But, guys – that's going to do it for NCAA Basketball Plays and Props for Wednesday, December 13th, Slate of Games. If you guys enjoyed the content, please be sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel below. We'll see you guys next video, and thanks for watching. Yeah. Multiple questions this morning about how to become a member for the YouTube channel. Let's do that really quick tutorial. You're going to go to YouTube.com. You're going to go to Bears Profit Plays. You're going to search it in. You're going to hit our thing. There's a join button right just to the right of subscribe. You're going to click that. There's two options. You have the Bear Pack for $4.99. That gives you access to YouTube member plays. And then you have the Bear Pack Gold for $7.99 a month. That gives you access to our member plays on YouTube. And it gives you a one-month membership to our website, bearsprofitplays.com. So if you get the Bear Pack Gold, you save yourself 2 bucks a month. A little bit cheaper if you want to do that. But that is the tutorial for anybody that needed it. We had multiple questions today through email about how to do it, and it wasn't working. But if you want to know, there it is right there. Trey, 